Hey guys, welcome back on today's episode. We are looking at lighting and I'm here in Burlington at the Robinson Lighting and Bath showroom. The reason I wanna walk through the showroom is that there is no comparison to being able to actually see the fixture itself. It's one thing to see pictures of it, but to see the fixture, see the quality, see the scale, that's what it's about. And they've got a great, great selection of lighting in here. So we're gonna walk through and see what we can find. Hi, I'm Ramson Kachi. I'm the founder and principal of Kachi Design Build and Stone Lab Surfaces. I've been in the design and construction industry for over 25 years. I've decided to do an entire series around my own personal real estate investment. I'll be taking a builder's custom-like home and then taking it to an entirely new level. Welcome to Bespoke in the Burbs. Now Robinson's only used to be known for lighting fixtures, but today they also carry bath fixtures, a lot of them, in all their 32 showrooms. Now when you come to a location like this, know what you're looking for. Today we're looking for lighting fixtures, not bath fixtures, but we're going to take a look at all the lighting that they have here, and they've got a great selection. But understand your needs, understand the room, understand the materials in that room. That is critical. So certain rooms, like the family room, I'm going to use as an example, because I'm going to tell in a second why we know we have a single point hanging fixture over that seating area but I also know that I've got something interesting in the background so that sets the tone as to what that fixture should be walking around here and spotting individual fixtures is critical having that understanding to begin with so when I walked in right off the bat I see this thing I'm like this is perfect for the family room because not only does it show itself just in the right amount it's not massive it doesn't really obstruct your view so when you walk in, you've got that fixture, but then you've got the depth of the room visible, which is everything in the background, which is the family room fireplace and all the woodwork in the background. Speaking of woodwork, you'll notice that there's wood detail on this fixture. And I love the fact that ties into the wood that we have in the space. But we also have this black detail that ties into some of the elements in the kitchen. Again, understanding and knowing what all those materials are within the space. One thing to note is that this coloration, you would would never be able to appreciate by looking at these fixtures online or in a photograph so coming to a showroom like Robinson's is priceless you walk around you see the quality and again you get a real appreciation for the finishes I love the scale of that I love the fact that it hangs with not a lot of materials above so let's go walk through the lighting area to kind of see what else jumps out at us So when it comes to rooms like the family room, you wanna make sure that you layer your lighting. It's so important to have different levels of lighting in a room. It allows you to change the mood in that room by adjusting each light. So I know on that back wall, we've got that gorgeous fireplace on either side. We've got those mirrors, and on those mirrors, I wanna include some sconces. I have an idea of what I want. I have a style of fixture I want, but I can't really find it here. So the next best thing is perhaps look on photographs. Um, I know I said don't, but if you have to, look at photographs. When you come into a showroom, take a look at the same product or similar product from the same manufacturer. That gives you a sense of the quality, how it's built, the finishing details, and also the finish itself. And that way, the picture then starts to make a lot more sense. We'll keep looking. So this one here, Vega Gold. I don't know if that one may be on an angle or whatever. Okay. So looking at that family room, adjacent to that is the kitchen. And I'm thinking about it, that as well. And there's two fixtures over top of the island. Now, earlier on, I did say that one of the challenges with this home was to balance that contemporary look with that traditional styling. Here's where that comes in. I think I'd like to go something, go with something a little bit more minimalist, a little more contemporary, which pulls me over to this kind of fixture. I would love two linear fixtures like this over top of the island for a few reasons. One, to bring in that contemporary element, but also, so that they're not overpowering within the space. You've got so much happening in that kitchen. The backdrop, which is that gorgeous hood fan and all that wood detail, I don't want to interfere with that. So I don't want the lights to take away from that and they layer into the space beautifully. And they offer great amount of light. Now I know they come in different finishes. I know they come in a few different styles. That one is a little bit more elongated. This one is a little stubby, but I also know the cables come on an angle as well. So I'm going to explore that, maybe go into a black fixture, maybe a little bit different detail on the cables, but I'm leaning towards these for the island lighting. Mm -hmm. 
So there's a lot of spaces where you need simple lighting and what a great location here with all these simple fixtures because there are areas that are transitional like the laundry room in the basement. Uh, it doesn't need a substantial fixture, it needs something understated, something like that one there, the oval one, or even that square one with that little detail. They look beautiful. What a deal at $170 to get a fixture like that. It lights up the space nicely but adds a nice architectural element to the ceiling. are cool and let me tell you for what for bedside lighting so if you've got a headboard or maybe some integrated millwork around your headboard this is great to integrate into that uh, millwork you've got a point source light you've got some secondary lighting around you've got a fixture like this it's very cool too so it uh, it looks cool and it offers some great lighting for nighttime reading Looking at this honeypot fixture for the principal bedroom, the ensuite over the top. I want something that, that shows itself, but again, is not too big, too overpowering. That kind of fits the bill. Now, it's got to tie into the sconces that I have an idea on, but the important thing here is metals. Let's talk about mixing metals. So it's important to mix metals. I like to mix metals because it just, it leaves the palette open for me to experiment with different things, but there are some rules to follow. Blacks and chromes go well together, but chromes and nickels do not. So polished nickel and chrome really conflict. So it's really important to pay attention to some of those details. Don't mix your rustic finishes with your really refined, elegant finishes. They don't work well either. But that polished nickel will work with the Lux Gold that we have in the fixtures in that room. And if it works well with the style of the sconces, then that's the direction to go. This has been a great start for uh, selecting light fixture. I feel good with where we've gotten to so far. I've got the main area, which is that family room. I feel great about that first fixture we looked at. I think I'm gonna go that route. I've got some work to do with the wall sconces and I'm gonna start looking around a little bit more. And I also feel good about that linear selection for the kitchen island. I'm gonna go a little bit different. I'm gonna go black with the angled cables, but I think it's gonna look great over top of that island. The dining room, I've still gotta select that. And I am not gonna show you because that is such a whimsical room and I've got some Thing in mind and I think it's gonna look spectacular I'm gonna show you when we start to put that room together I've got other areas to deal with the principal ensuite that honey pot is gonna look good over the tub I've got to finalize my selection for the sconces but then we've got all those secondary areas the hallway the center the foyer all those lights have to relate to all those rooms so you have some good flow but they have to be special enough to stand in those spaces on their own those are some of my next selections but next up I got to start looking at furniture so we're gonna start selecting furniture we might find ourselves back reselecting light fixtures again but that's the process there's a little bit of going back and forth till you finalize the look and then you're gonna see how all these rooms start to really come together